students in the second part of the chapter forest and wildlife resources as we already discussed the importance of forest for human being like economic importance and ecological importance then discuss the flora and fauna in india and then we categorize of existing plants and animal species now today negative factors that causes fearful depletion of the flora and fauna transformed nature into resource we have transformed nature into resource by obtaining directly and indirectly from the forest and wildlife uh, like many things which we transfer to wood bugs leaves rubber medicines etc is extracted from bugs needles swings roots etc for many medical treatment also we extract these things for making the drugs which is biggest selling in anti cancer drugs in the world the species is under great threat due to over exploitation dies food fuel fodder manure etc thus depleting our forest and wildlife means this is how we use the things which are found in forest as a resources we transform it as a resources and this makes the depletion of forest damage during colonial period during the colonial period all the european countries occupied the regions of south america which is latin america africa and asia to complete their requirement of raw materials which they get from forest so this is how during this colonial period also we see a lot of loss of forest agricultural expansion as we see the population of the world is rapidly increasing the last 100 crore people of the world just increased during the 30 years and next will be increased within 12 years so this shows that how much population is increased and the demand is also increased for com completing all these demands we the human being cut the forest land for using cultivation purpose development projects obviously many large scale projects multi purpose project projects etc have also contributed significantly the loss of forest after independence since 1951 we over 5000 square kilometer of forest was cleared for only river valley projects that is a multinational projects so this is how you can see that how much forest were cleared for these uh, development projects mining is an another important factor behind the deforestation grazing or we can say the overgrazing and fuel wood collection is the greatest degrading factor behind the depletion of forest many other factor like habitat disrupting hunting and poaching over exploitation environmental pollution poisoning 
forest fire etc are also responsible for the depletion of forest and the other important causes are like unequal access inequitable consumption of resources and different sharing of responsibility for environment well-being so these all are the main causes for the depletions of flora and fauna now let us discuss the effects which we see because of this the marginalized and the impoverished many indigenous communities because of all these many communities tribal communities which are living in forests since thousands of years they all marginalized from forest actually they lost their house habitat which is their forest and marginalized to city and other areas within the poor women are affected more because now they have to walk for more than 10 kilometers to collect these resources which they easily get from forest this causes serious health problems not only in women but children which often has serious social implications over half of india's forests are gone and only one third of its wetland drained out surface water bodies polluted 40% of its very precious mangroves forest wiped out and we're continuing hunting and trade of wild animals and commercially valuable so this is how the causes which we see so the causes the effect at how much loss we are facing because of the this the indirect impact of degradations of all these forest we are also facing the problems of drought or floods so these all are the effects which we face because of the depletion of the forest that's all in this part in the next part of this chapter we just discuss that what are the conservation methods of forest and wildlife in india what are the types of distributions of forest like reserved protected and unclassed forest etc the density distribution of forest in india with map also any kind of complaint suggestion or anything which you want please comment thank you